Hello, folks. I am the old sergeant. Do you remember how we started this? We went into lockdown voluntarily because the government asked us to, and they provided the reason. The reason being was to flatten the curve. We didn't want our hospitals to be overrun with corona patients, unable to handle it like we saw happening in China and in Europe. So they asked us to socially distance, wear masks, if we have to be outside, otherwise quarantine at home, close our businesses. That was only supposed to last until we flattened the curve, which happened rather rapidly. Except that's not good enough for the Democrat overlords. In Belmar, New Jersey, at the Atlas Gym, New York or New Jersey Governor Bill Murphy directly threatened the small business for protesting the order to stay locked down. One person was arrested and three others were stopped as they left the gym. We're told by the owners, the man who was taken by police refused to give his name. The owners say they're warning their members before they enter every day that this is a possibility. There are right now an estimated 100,000 businesses that are permanently closed nationwide. This is no longer about flatten the curve and protecting the citizens from the virus. This is a power grab. You must bend the knee to your Democrat mayors and governors. You must bend the knee to your overlords. And because the majority of small businesses are Republican in nature, oh well, destroying them is perfectly fine. We can destroy the middle class very easily. Just make them stay at home, make them not be able to pay their bills, may that make them not be able to put food on the table because they're Democrats. That's who they are, that's what they do. They are socialists. They hate the country, they want to destroy the country. Oh, they'll still be able to live in their ivory towers and their gated communities, but they want to destroy the rest of the country. They hate patriotic people, people that work hard, people that run their own businesses. They want to destroy these businesses in favor of the big box businesses that they can manipulate, that probably agree with them anyway. This is just utter madness by this governor. He should be removed from office immediately. They're giving, the police are giving people summonses. They arrest one person, summons to where, for what? Who the heck do these police officers think they are. These police officers? Nah, they're not police officers. They're jackbooted thugs. There's no difference between them and the brown shirts in Germany. That's who these people are. They may think that they're the proud and they're the blue. No, you're not. You're not serving and protecting the citizens. You're smashing them down under the heel of your boots. You are a disgrace to the badge. You are a disgrace to the country. And hopefully you'll spend the rest of your life realizing that when it came to make a decision to be a patriot or a thug, you chose thug. You're despicable human beings.
something I want to point out to you police officers is Title 18 USC Section 242. Essentially, the start of this says Section 242 of Title 18 makes it a crime for a person acting under color of any law to willfully deprive a person of a right or privilege protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. You arrested this man and took him away. There's a crime associated with that. It's called kidnapping. You violated this gentleman, and you should go to jail under this. You should be prosecuted for this. And the gentleman ought to sue your tails off so you can sit in prison and think about, once again, how you decided it was better to be a thug and keep your job then go by your oath of office. We have many small businesses that have been totally destroyed. And these Democrat governors and mayors want to destroy people, their businesses, all because to them, orange man, bad. We need to do anything we can to destroy the economy in the hopes of getting orange man out of the white house and get democrats in the house and senate so they can rule again but ladies and gentlemen you now know who these people are all the things that the republicans are always accused of being that's who these people are It is time, folks, to get up and stop this type of action. We need to stand up. We need to gather. We need to surround these people, as you will see in the videos that I have marked below. what was going on, how the people were reacting to what the police were doing. That's what must happen. These people must be shamed every time they arrest a citizen for doing nothing but going to a gym. They wear their masks here, but yeah, so much for social distancing. While this is spread by contact, they violate every other rule. But yeah, make a show of wearing their masks. What a despicable bunch of people. As I don't know the copyright issues with some of the key videos connected to this case, I will post the links to the videos in the description of this video. I'm the old sergeant. Stay informed, prepared, active, prayerful, and as always, stay vigilant.